So the situation definitely does call to look within yourself to find what makes you happy. Torian, the biggest thing I am going to tell you is honestly figure out what you want. Because right now, it's good to know that you don't know. It's good to know what you don't want. But that's not going to get you to where it make, what makes you happy. It's just going to kind of lead you in a constant direction where you may feel like, you know, you're just going to have to settle with one of these, right? So the the whole premise of the Eight of, Eight of uh, Cups is talking about there being this no, no uh, tolerance kind of, you know, no settling for less sort of deal. Now, I don't think this person is obviously settling for less, but I really think that your dreams shouldn't take a back burner either. What you want, what are you expecting out of a relationship? Have those down and then be ready to move forward towards that goal. Because right now, it's very clear that you guys have definitely, you know, put either put in your, uh, your all in a situation or you guys are just emotionally drained from having to just put in so much work, okay? Now... Starting off, you know, this side usually by default is you guys, and this side here is your soulmate, but feel free to flip the sides if it doesn't resonate. But we're going to start off with the mind plane, and this helps us get a better idea as to what both parties are thinking going into the relationship. And starting off with you, you have the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like there is a balance needed, right? There, I mean, I feel like some of you guys believe that there is some things that you guys do better, and the other person does a lot better as well. Um, and I feel like this is encouraging, you know, teamwork. This is encouraging co cooperation. But at the same time, I feel like there's still some things that need to be worked out on that. Because what brought you guys together was, hey, man, nothing was going on in your lives. Things were kind of stagnant. Things were kind of on, uh, like, on hold. And it's due to the fact that there is a change in perspective that's needed for y'all. Not because you guys, you know, you guys need it, per, you know, personally. But there's some things that are changing in your lives that's going to require you a new mindset to come through. Right, it's going to require you to have a different sort of take on a situation or, or see the world a little differently. Especially since, you know, Uranus is making his way right back into your sign. This is about changing your perspective. So the Six of Pentacles, I do think there's, there's a balance that's needed. But obviously what brought you together was definitely to open your minds, to expand, to surrender to something new and kind of break away from the traditional, right? To break away from what you've always, what you guys have always, you know, considered to be, you know, truth and, and all that, right? You guys are revamping your way of thinking. And this person here, the way they think about this relationship, they're ready. They're prepared for it. They're, they're honestly, they've manifested this relationship, I feel. Like this is something that they've, they've wanted and they've, put themselves in a position to have this. And I feel like this person definitely has a great deal of confidence because they definitely feel this connection with you. I think they they definitely can vibe that. The Six of Pentacles for me can gift, you know, I just feel like there's, there is a balance here. I think you guys do recognize the things that you, like that they do better or that they do for you that honestly helps you, you know, helps you you know, grow, but I feel like at the same time, there's some, there is still balance needed, but you can work with that. You're willing to work with it. It's something that you guys are honestly trying to, I feel like you guys are, tr you know, aware of what's not balanced here in the relationship, but it's something that you are willing to work through. Now, how you guys are presenting yourself in this relationship is the five of cups. So this is how your partner sees you. This is how you present yourself. And same thing, same way with the partner, the same way with the soulmate, rather. And it looks like here with the Five of Cups, there is a lot of, fig you know, a lot of emphasis on what's not there, what's missing, what's not, you know, what, what you don't feel. Like, I feel like for a lot of you guys, the, 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 the reason why you need this balance is because you don't feel supported. You don't feel like somebody really has your back or you can truly trust this person like 100%. Honestly, you guys kind of feel like you guys are not really left picking up pieces, but more of just like not feeling like you have the support that you feel like you need. And, and this due to a lot of losses, due to a lot of things that this relationship probably doesn't quite have just yet, but you've had in previous relationships, you know, or you've had in pre previous situations similar to this, because there's a lot of emphasis on this loss. 
And that's how your partner sees you. Now, the, how the partner is being viewed, how the partner is being seen here is the Ace of Swords. So they're coming into this looking like, you know, coming up with new ideas, open to new ideas, I feel like, especially. But they have a, they're, they're very clear on who they are and very clear on a particular truth, right? There's just something that's new and open to regarding them. Like, I think this person is introducing a new way of communicating. Because even though there's a need for balance here, there's a lot of focusing on what you don't have rather than working through it with the relationship here. The, the, the focus is not on the connection, which is the Two of Cups, which is behind the Five of Cups here. Right? You see where it is at. So this person may be introducing a new way of communicating to you guys, or this person here is working on their communication as well. Um, because with the with the Ace of Swords, it's a new beginning, that's new ideas, it's new way, it's a new perspective. And they may be, you know, trying to and they may be open to a new perspective, or you may be introducing them to a different perspective, especially when it comes to you know the balance. Again, it's so interesting how this reading is being played out right now because both of you guys seem to be getting something from this Ace of, Ace of Swords and both of you may seem to be getting something out of this Five of Cups. And how that works together, it may be a little bumpy only because there is a slight resistance here. But this is ultimately, it's ultimately to kind of get a st stable, you know, f stable, get to some sort of stable ground here. What's interesting to me, though, is that in your spiritual plane, which is kind of gives us a bit of background as to why everyone's thinking the way they think and feeling the way they feel, um, or th you know, thinking the way they think and presenting themselves the way they are, is the King of Swords for you. Um, and the King of Swords, that does talk about knowing your truth, knowing where you stand, knowing you know, and being. St it can't be being stubborn because the King of Swords is not necessarily open to new perspectives and new ideas. You know, this person communicates their truth and and knows who they are through and through. And it feels like there's some things that are missing here. Obviously, because of the dynamic, not because, not just because of the, the dynamic of the relationship is not that great. But it looks like to me, guys, that the King of Swords is coming up because there's some things emotionally missing from this King of Swords. Somebody is detached in this relationship. And it's almost like this person isn't looking at love to figure out why they're not they don't have these emotions. It's almost like they're looking at everything that they've gone through, everything that they've lost instead of looking at where they can get the get that exact thing right back. Where they can invest time and energy toward it. They're looking at everything that they don't have. And what I feel like what this King of Swords is doing is that, you know, really, is that, is one, a protector for you. I think you guys have your protective mode on. And then at the same time, I feel like, I feel like it's, you, you, it's been, something's detached. Something, somebody is detached in this situation. Somebody's not looking at how they feel. No one is looking at how they feel. The five of, I mean, the eight of cups is walking away from a situation. And you, of course, you're going to, you know, with the hermit underneath, this is definitely a personal thing. You know? It's not physically walking away, but it's definitely talking about being emotionally done with something. You know? You're, you're emotionally done with a situation. And it looks like it's... It looks like... You're trying to figure out what this ninth cup would be, because this is what you're doing in the Eight of Cups, right? You're emotionally done with the situation, and you're going to find your absolute happiness, which is the ninth cup. And you're looking in the past, or looking at with things that have already been down, right? And it's like this: this is sort of detaching and being logical when actually there's a calling for you to be emotional. To express your emotion, to know what you know, to be emotional. Period. Because I think there's some, there's a calling for you to be emotional here. The King of Swords is never emotional, and it's because you're, you know, you are, you know, you're protected, you're protective of yourself. So you detach from the situation, and if it almost neglects your how you feel, because instead of just allowing yourself to feel and, you know, just not necessarily being reactionary, but just to kind of 
let those those emotions flow through you you kind of you take the stance of detaching and logically trying to solve the problem when it's not a problem that logic can solve now the other person's got the four of swords and i feel like it's interesting because the four of swords talks about a break or a period of time that was spent um solo or alone to kind of reflect or to look within the self and i kind of feel like with this individual coming up here with this um with this sort of energy i kind of feel like it's interesting it's really one hell of a thir um a curveball because it kind of doesn't really i mean it, it makes sense this person may have taken time to really reevaluate and think things through right to figure out what they what they want figure out what their truth is figure out where they stand by and it makes sense that this person did definitely manifested or is feeling more confident about pursuing this relationship due to either of time apart time you know away from each other a resting period but also, this person shows the Ace of Swords. They're coming in with a new perspective. They're coming in with um, a new way of communicating, a new way on, well, new ideas. And it's because of a time of a period of rest, a time, a time period of taking a break or taking a moment away. It's interesting. I'm going to actually pull on that. I don't. Why is the Four of Swords coming out for the spiritual plane? The Ace of Swords, yeah. Okay. So somebody took the time out to really think things through and they came up with, you know, with a different truth. I think they came up with a truth here. They definitely reflected. That's what that shows. This person took time out to really reflect on who they are, what their truth is, and they're walking their truth in this, in this situation. Right? So... It's interesting, right? This person definitely took time out. And I think they're definitely using what they know. What they know about themselves. What they know about, you know, relationships and or, or their side of the story. Whatever. I think they're open-minded here. And they're trying to integrate this perspective into their lives. Not just relationship-wise, but also just like full circle. Because the obstacle that you guys are facing here is... Or the challenge that you face is the king of pentacles stabilizing in investing dedication commitment longevity knowing one's value stabilizing seriously and i feel like the thing is is that you know that yeah of course what brought you guys together was a change of perspective or the hangman right a period of stagnancy nothing was going on in your lives and there was a change that was initiated and now the King of Pentacles seems to be someone that's willing to settle down and stabilize. Right? What does this... And I feel like this the hangman is actually... This person coming into life is honestly here to restructure the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is stickler when it comes to routine and, and repetition. And I feel like what this person is doing is coming into your life after a period of stagnancy right nothing happening nothing moving and bringing something new to the table that will ultimately change all f aspects of you taurus this person here is going to change you in through uh, through and through in and out you know what i mean they're going to inspire a change but it's going to take some it's going to take some fight through the stubbornness. And I think this person's got what it takes. So let's go ahead and take a look-see at your messenger oracle card. Ah, you were born to create. And that really talks about us being, you know literally co-creators of this universe right we are you know we are the creators of our pre of our existence here we can create more things it doesn't have to be children but our reproductive systems are literally even at from a scientific and fundamental standpoint are that those are cre our creative organs in the sense of making life right 
So this is about seeing the potential for something in or seeing the, the potential in yourself mostly to expand your life, to expand and move forward, right? Because even though, of course, there was a certain formula that we stuck to for a long time, I realized that I feel like, right, guys, I, f I feel like it's not working anymore. I feel like however you guys have been going down with your life, you have realized it hasn't been working and it's time to change it up. You got the five of cups there. And I feel like it's about finding what truly satisfies you and not just accepting what doesn't. Because you'd rather have something versus nothing. And you do have something. You always have had something. And the magician works with the tools he has while they, you know, while this person's looking at how they can't proceed without these things. But they, the thing is, they don't need those things to proceed. They just need the love that's in their heart and their desire to create. Because love it inspires creation. And I feel like when your heart light is on, you'll be able to turn that light switch on, that creative light switch. But until then, there's a lot of detachment even like, this person i think there's a lot of detachment i think there's recognition of theirs of their being detachment of course to protect yourself to protect what's yours but this isn't this may not be you this is not you this is the king of pentacles and you're you're coming off as the king of swords here whatever you guys have been trying to protect because you love it it's caused you to detach and deal with what you may you what you may not deserve. This is, which is why the Six of Pentacles is weighing those options, right? Figuring out what's of value to him and what isn't. Why is he getting out of the situation? You know, and I feel like this person knows too, and they've you know they're figuring it out, and you're t you know everyone's figuring it out. But the reason why you guys came come together is because you guys are both very similar. Wow. I'm going to go ahead and actually read you guys the affirmation for this, for the card, for uh, you were born to create. All right. You were blessed with the ability to create with thought, intention, action, and emotion. Be conscious of your power and aware of what your actions and reactions create within and around you. Cherish this gift and use it in both a wise and productive what, excuse me, productive manner. Create beauty and inspire a desire within others to do the same. Create a future that fulfills and delights. Do what you were born to do. And that said, family, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. 